Welcome back to net.touchplus.com. In today's video quick tip, we're going to have a crash course on working with SQL and inner joins, but mostly just kind of working with SQL in general in the next few minutes. So uh, if you're using WAMP or MAMP, you're free to use something like a web app like phpMyAdmin. I'm going to use something called Querious, but you can use anything you want. So let's go ahead and create a database. Um, let's just call this something like to do. Okay, so if I refresh, you'll see that we've created our database. Next, we're going to create a table, and we're going to call this tasks, because we're going to create, uh, at least from a, a MySQL perspective, a, a way to create tasks and assign them to users, right? So I'm going to create a table called tasks, and it needs to have an ID section. So I always say this because it's a lot to write. Uh, it's going to be an integer. It can't be null. It should auto increment, and primary key designates that uh, it has to be unique, so no other row can have that same ID. Okay, next for this tasks, like I said, we're going to keep this super simple. We're going to have a varchar and then tails, and that can be text. Uh, it can be as much as they want. Okay, so if I refresh, you see that we have created our tasks table. Next, we need to create, add a way to assign these tasks to users. So one thing you could do is you could just add a username, a user email section to your tasks table. However, that's generally a bad practice. Instead, you should separate your user information into its own table. So let's do that right now. Let's come back and we're going to create a table, users, and uh, I'm going to keep this very simple, but you should expand upon it for your own project. It'll have an ID and just a name. That'll be fine. For your project, you'd probably have an email, first name, last name, uh, things like that, password, so we got that, refresh, and now we have a tasks and a users table. However, they don't link just yet. We need to find a way to make this tasks table link to its users tables. So the way we can do that is add a section to tasks called user ID, and that will correlate to the ID from this users table. Okay, so we need to go ahead and alter this. So I'm going to go and I'm going to say alter table tasks, and we're going to add a column. And this column is going to be called user ID. And it's just going to be an integer. We'll keep it simple. And if we want to designate where it should, where it should be added, we can do that. You don't have to, but we'll add it after ID just to keep things simple. OK, so now if we go back to tasks, let's go to columns. You can see we have ID, user ID, title, and details. OK, so let's go ahead and add our mock user information. Name, Jeffrey. John, Kate, Sawyer. Okay, so we have our users, so now we need to create new tasks and assign them to those users. So I'm going to have a new ID that's going to be created for me, but the user ID is not. So if I want to assign this to, if I want to go back and assign this to, let's assign it to Sawyer for, and the title is um, do something, whatever. And then if you want to add some details, add details here, like so. So now we've created a new task. It's been assigned to the user ID of four. So we can create another one, user me, do something Jeff, add details here. Okay, so now we've created a task. We've assigned these to users. So how could we actually bring these out into our application? So if we did something like select star, from tasks, we get that information, and we do select star from users, we get that information, so we need to link them or join them. So watch this, we're gonna do select star from tasks, inner join users, on the condition that, uh, we wanna make sure on the condition that tasks.userID is going to be equal to users.id. So now we get this specific information. So I'm saying join the two together. And what I want you to use to link them is make sure that the ID, the user ID here, needs to be equal to one of these IDs here, as you can see. So now we have our task, our user ID, a title, details. But now we, we have a little bit of duplicate content. So let's just do select title, details. Uh, let's get the ID as well, ID and name. And now we have all the information that we need, the name, the title, the details, and the ID, and that is how you use joins in your database queries.